Hi, I'm Jordan. And I started the Grumpy Plumber because I'm lucky enough to have a dad who's an amazing plumber. He's been a plumber for 48 years. And since I bought my house five years ago, he has saved us tens of thousands of dollars with his experience and his advice. So we started this channel to help people out with some great plumbing advice. And for those who really care about credentials, he's been a master plumber in Michigan, and he's also a C36 plumbing contractor in California. 48 years of plumbing, he knows something. It also makes him a little bit grumpy when he's sharing advice. Don't piss him off. Hi, my name is Jordan. This is my dad, Jim, the plumber. Today we're going to be answering the question, what can I put in my garbage disposal? So dad, what can you put on garbage disposal? Well, you can put about just about everything, but the main thing it is, it must, you should have used cooked. It must be cooked is the best thing. Like vegetables, you can put them down your garbage disposal if they've been cooked. You don't want to put any salary, like fresh cut salary, fresh uh, clean carrots, uh, because it'll get strung up in the garbage disposal. There are no knives, by the way, in a garbage disposal. Oh, what's it in takes it? A, there are these lugs that are in there that swing, and they throw the food against the side of the garbage disposal, and that's what grinds it up. Okay. Okay. What's the kind of stuff that gets like plugs up your garbage disposal? Well, things that plug it up like rice, pasta. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do, you know, if you're using the garbage disposal, you can always clean the plates off. Like if there's two of you, clean the plates off, throw the garbage down, and, you know, grind gotcha. it up. Uh -huh. I mean, you can throw chicken bones in it. It might make oh, a lot really? of noise, but mm -hmm. you can throw chicken bones in it. All right. Uh, but yeah, you just got to watch that you don't plug it. Up. Okay. So that's the main thing. To a garbage disposal, you got to think before you use it, and you got to run plenty of water. Oh, okay. Yes. A glass of water is not going to flush a garbage disposal. Mm. So I always turn the water on first. I grind the food up, and then I might wait 30 seconds or 20 seconds and turn it off. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Or I will have things in the garbage disposal. You wash the dishes. You have a sink full of water. You pull the drain out, turn the garbage disposal off, and let it suck it all down. Just that it doesn't grind up knives and forks real well. So you don't want to put that down there, okay? So, and they're very good. I mean, even on septic tanks, there's nothing wrong with a garbage disposal. You must, you want to put down cooked vegetables down it because they decompose faster. Raw vegetables, uncooked vegetables take longer to decompose. Gotcha. And uh, eggshells, throw them down the garbage disposal. All they're going to do is settle to the bottom of the septic tank and it's going to take a lot of eggshells to fill that septic tank that you've got. Gotcha. So, uh, so they're really they're good. They're good. I've had one all ever since I've been married. Uh, they don't do body parts real well, but you know you could try it. You know whatever on it. But yeah, you, you you know just put down what you want to put down in the garbage That's disposal. It. But think, you know, just don't empty that big. So like no carbohydrates. Yeah. yeah. Just don't dump it down there because you're going to plug it. Carbohydrates yeah. are going to kill you. Yeah. All right, Dad. So question for you. What if I'm peeling carrots, right, and I'm putting the peels, like, into the sink? Can those go down the garbage disposal? If you were to have, like, one carrot, maybe, you know, but the easiest thing is to do, pick it up and throw it in the garbage, you know? Why take the chance right. on it? So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you, somebody had a bowl of pasta and, uh, you know, had some pasta and they didn't eat hardly any of it. Throw that away. But if it's just a little bit on the plate, clean the plate off, throw that stuff down the garbage disposal. Okay. You just got to think when you got a garbage disposal. Citrus. Oh, yeah? Great thing to throw down a garbage disposal. Why is because that? Because it gets a smell out of it. Oh, really? You okay. know, we always take a, a lime and throw it down every once in a while or an, or an orange we cut up. Instead of throwing it away, we throw it down the garbage disposal. Isn't that raw, though? Does it's that raw, cause but it just it beats it up. It makes a lot of noise. But then you, it smells nice afterwards. Okay. And a lot of things too is people say that garbage disposal has a smell to it. There's a gasket on the top or a, 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 what they call a spoon catcher mm. on the top of the garbage disposal. Pull that out. That you can, some of them you can take out, some you can't take out, but you want to clean the bottom of that because uh, okay. you'd be surprised how dirty and a lot of the smell can come from there on the garbage. It traps everything in yep. there. And it traps it all in there. So. But yeah, use the thing. Don't be afraid to use it, and don't let anybody tell you they can't be used on, on septic tanks. They can be used on septic tanks. You just gotta, like I said, be cautious. You don't throw, you know, uncooked, cooked vegetables down there. 
Gotcha. Uh, if you have any more questions for the Grumpy Plumber, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, I dare you. I dare you subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you don't like it, go to hell. <laughs>